Have you ever lost an app on the iPhone? I know I have. What can you do to find that app? Well, that's what we're going to look at in this video, how you can easily find apps. I'm going to show you two different ways to find your apps. And then I'll also show you what you can do once you find those apps, how you can add them to your home screen. So then you can easily find them down the road. Let's take a look at some tips on how to work with lost apps on the iPhone. Let's go over to my iPhone. Now let's first take a look at how we can find lost apps. Typically the first way that I will do this is by searching the iPhone. So how do we search our iPhone? Well there's two different ways. What we can do is we can tap on search here and when we do we get our search. I type in what I'm searching for. Let's say I'm looking for the calculator app. I don't know where it is on my iPhone. All I do is just type in calc and we can see we have the calculator app. I can tap on that to open it up. Another way of getting to search, and actually this is my preferred way of doing that, is just by swiping down. All I have to do is just swipe down, I get my search, and then I can type in. If you don't want to use search, you can also find it in your app library. What is the app library? Well, your iPhone actually has a list of all of the apps on your iPhone. If you're coming from a Mac, you know that you have an applications folder. All of your apps are in that application folder, listed alphabetically. Well, your iPhone has the same thing. It's called the app library. So where is this library? Well, what we need to do is we need to swipe over to our last screen. So we swipe over to the left. So what I do is I swipe to the left here. I'm going to get to my second home screen. And then I swipe again. And when I do, I have my app library. So you got to keep swiping. If you have a lot of home screens, you may have to swipe a few different times. But this is our app library. Now I mentioned that it was in alphabetic order. It looks like a bunch of folders here. Well, now what we need to do is you just need to swipe down, and when we do, they're in alphabetical order. So that is our app library list. And then all I have to do is just swipe up to find it. So if I'm looking for the calculator, I will just go to C's over here, and it'll show me all of the apps in the C's. So that's how you can find your apps. Now, once you find your app, maybe what you want to do is add it to your home screen, so then you don't have to search for it. How can we do that? Well, we can do that through the search, or we can do that through our app library. So on my iPhone, I'd like to add the calculator in this area here. How can I do that? Well, let's go over to search. We're going to look at it that way first. So I swipe down, my favorite way. And then all I have to do is just long press on this. And when I do, I'm able to drag it where I want. So I long press, and then I drag it and place it where I want. And now it's installed on my home screen. So that's one way. We can also do this from the app library. Let's say I wanted to install the calculator app on my second home screen here, but this time we're going to use the app library method. So I swipe over again until I get to my app library, and then I swipe down to get to my list of apps. And then from here, what I do is I find the app that I want to install. Here's my calculator. When you long press on that icon, I shouldn't say tap. What you want to do is you want to long press on that. So when you long press on that, what you're able to do is drag this to your home screen. And now it is installed on my home screen. All right, the last tip I want to talk about is installing apps. There is a setting on the iPhone to where it will only install apps in the app library. So maybe that setting is on. It shouldn't be on, it's off by default, but maybe you inadvertently turn that on. So then when you go and install an app from the app store here, it doesn't install on your home screens, what it's going to do is it's going to only install it in your app library. So then you have to go to your app library every time. Well, if you want to make sure that apps install on your home screen here, what you need to do is go over to your settings app. Again, this should be on by default, but maybe it was turned off inadvertently. So now I'm going to go over to my settings app here. And then from here, what we need to do is go over to our home screen and app library. In this setting here, you're going to see we have newly downloaded apps. And then from here, what I'm able to do is set it to add to my home screen, which is where it should be by default. Or you can set it to only install in the app library. So if your iPhone is set to this, when you download an app, it will not install it on your home screen, which may be why you can't find it. So if you want it to install on your home screen, make sure that you have it set to add to home screen. Now, why would you want to only have it install on your app library? If you want to keep your home screens clean, 
Typically what I will do on my iPhone here is I will have one or two home screens then I go to the app library. So I don't have to swipe to all of my different home screens. So when I install an app, I don't want it to install on my home screen. I will decide by long pressing on it when I'm looking at my app library here and dragging it to my home screen. So I don't want it to install on my home screen by default. So if you want to keep your home screens clear, that may be one way that you can use that. Only install your apps to your app library. But when you do, just know that they are not going to be installed on your home screens by default. So those are some ways to find your different apps that you may have lost on your iPhone. They could be in a folder. They could not even be on your home screen. All you have to do is just search for them. Or what you can do is go to the app library. Once you find them, you can drag them over to your home screen so they can easily access it at a later date. And then you can also set your iPhone to automatically install apps into the app library or onto your home screen as well. It always installs in your app library, but you can also have it set to install on your home screen so then you can easily find them even after you install them. So those are some tips on how to work with lost apps on the iPhone.